Girl, this feels like deja vu once again from 2023 because hashtag ban South Korea is trending once again on X. And this is because of the recent article that dropped citing that there has been a decrease in 20% of Thai tourists visiting South Korea. Obviously, old wounds have been reopened. People are, you know, sharing once again about their unfair treatment by the South Korean immigration officials. Um, and some saying that this is not limited to like their treatment of Thai people, but you know, like foreigners are being treated, well, some being treated like this as well. But the discussion this time around is very different. The trajectory is more of like a celebratory thing, um, mainly because they view that maybe the hashtag really worked. But I think like other factors come into play because Thai people are going to Japan and particularly China more and more. The latter because the Chinese government just unlocked the visa waiver. And yeah, and, and that really made it easy for Thais to, to go right and enjoy what China has to offer and Japan Japan I recently went and I did enjoy the currency depreciation so it was like really cheap and you can go further um, with the yen while traveling in Japan so I think those are the factors that come into play and that kind of like deterred um, people from going to South Korea and also with this drama it does not help at all with the sentiment um, this is an article released through Naver about Thailand legalizing same-sex marriage and it's the first nation in Southeast Asia to do so and people are just like rejoicing right LGBTQ community it is a huge progress but um, a lot of the comments from South Korean um, users were making a lot of ties just really not happy of course it's going to be aggravating because words such as mental illness is being used. 